There it is. We'll just scale this down. Come on, give me the little, give me the little corner. There we go. Scale this down, fit it right in there. We'll lose a little bit since it is the high def version, but that's okay. It's still going to look pretty good. And we'll hit fit again, and there it is. And as you see, Brendan still stays on there after the graphic goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim everything, go right to the edge of the Whippets graphic. I'm going to drag Brendan, drag the original still image. And I'm going to take the original video and then hit play and you'll see when we render it later, you'll see how it'll, it'll be perfect. Like it'll be perfect. All right. So we're just going to mess with Brendan a little bit. We're going to add in some video effects. Put a little glow behind him. And we'll go to Stylize on the bottom left. Stylize. Look for the glow, or is it Alpha Glow? Drag that over Brendan. No, oh, that didn't work. Drag it over. Go to the Effects Control, and you'll see I double put two in there. Get rid of one. It comes up yellow, even though our start color is not. So we'll just drag this down to white. Oops, sorry, hit cancel. I always do that. There it is. There's our white. What we'll do is we won't have it pop in like that right away. We'll put a keyframe. We'll just hit keyframe right away. We'll drag the original keyframe over and then just put this to zero. And you'll see it come up. We'll go to the end. Put another keyframe at 25% by clicking on the keyframe, add keyframe right there. Go to the very end. We can just click on the percentage, hit zero, hit enter, and there you go. Actually, why don't we do something like, let me bring our, over here, we'll bring our start and end duration, we'll hit enter, and it'll render out, and then we'll be able to actually see it in real time. Do, 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 do. I'm going to edit this so that we can cut right through this. It'll go really, really fast when you guys are watching it. And there we go. Pretty cool. Now all we need to do is add a little title. So, since we're still in our timeline here, I will go to... Where is it? I always forget where this is. I don't use Premiere that much. I, I do a, little fi a lot of Final Cut, and if I'm using a PC, I use Sony Vegas. But I wanted to make this for you. Here we go. New sequence. Add tracks. There it is. We'll add video track. Add after video track three. Hit OK. There we go. Oh, hmm. sorry about that. All right. Title. New. Title. We'll pick a still. Um, 720 by uh, 720 by 480. Standard definition. Hit OK. Pick the titling here. Just drop it in anywhere. Hit Brandon. Just pick a little. Uh, where? What did we use before we use this? And we'll hit OK. We'll close it. We'll find the new title too. Drag it over here. Pretty cool. There it is. Drag it to the end. Double click it, bring it back up, choose the selection tool, and we'll drag it down here. Bring it over a little bit just to be safe. Brendan, close that, which leaves it in the timeline. And we'll do a quick little, ah, sorry, double click, did the wrong thing there. We'll go to the effects control, we'll go to motion, we'll go right to the, be oh, we'll start right about there, we'll hit scale and position just in case it moves. Go back to the beginning of the title and we'll scale it down to zero. Now you hit play. Thumbs up. We'll go to the end. Add another keyframe at the scale and then instead of zooming down we'll actually zoom it out. There you go. All right. Hit enter, render, and do a quick pre
preview and see how it looks. The thing I actually did to the Brendan image, so I'm going to double click Brendan, and if I remember correctly, I went into uh, Channel Distort Image Control. I think I brought the the uh, the gamma correction down, or it was the proc amp. It was the proc amp I had brought down. So let's type in proc proc amp. Drag that over Brendan. Go to effects, drag the proc amp in there, go back to the beginning. We'll start, let's just take a look and see where we want to go with this. Nope. Yeah, that was it. We brought the contrast up to 200. So I'll just hit a keyframe for that. Go back to the beginning, bring this back down to 100. Do the same at the end. Add a keyframe that's already set at 200 by adding the keyframe right there. Come over, bring it back down to 100. Hit enter and hit return on your keyboard and it will render it out again. intro or introduction for any of your uh, characters that are in any of your videos, be it from Iraq or be it from your backyard, be it at a skate park, be it anywhere. Let's bring this back up here. Oh, come on. Where did it go? Here it is. Oy vey. All right. You could spend the time and try to make all of those graphics in the background, or again, you can go to GNZ Productions Whippids.com, www.wipidz.com, and check out all the introduction graphics. There's only a handful right now, but uh, we are constantly making new ones and adding. Check out the, the title graphics, and uh, we apologize, the segues are not ready yet. Uh, you know, there we it's a, it's a lot of work, but. We haven't done all of that, so enjoy what is on there now and keep coming back. Check out whippets.com. We're always adding and changing and fixing, and we're going to make a really cool website. But right now, we just want to get the graphics out there for all of you uh, crazy video people. All right, Greg Weiler saying take care and uh, have fun editing.